Hi everyone, welcome to the coding channel. Today is the 32nd episode of our Java programming tutorial series. And in this episode, we are going to talk about how to trace arrays and methods in Java. These and more when we come back. Okay, this time let's try to um, trace a uh, Java program having a um, method with um, array uh, parameters and with a um, returned um, um, array um, values as well. So let's start. Uh, let's start from a main method. We have here line number 16. Uh, int uh, numbers four two six eight three. Okay, so in a inside of somewhere in memory, we have a uh, uh, numbers array with uh, values of four. I mean, as uh, array sub zero, for example. So we have four. So think of that as like this. Okay, let me just uh, okay, and then um, sub one we have uh, the value of two. The number sub, um, sub index 2, the value is 6. And the numbers um, index 3, the value is 8. And then numbers um, index 4, the value is 3. Okay, that's uh, what's happening when we declare an array with the values of 4, 2, 6, 8, 3, you know, in memory. Okay, next. Line number 17, we have uh, an assignment statement with a method call and then we try now to pass the uh, arrays to methods. Okay, we pass now the reference of numbers array to a uh, uh, compute um, method. Okay, so since, uh, since we pass, inside of the um, compute method, we have now the reference, the compute method now has the reference of this uh, numbers array. Okay. And then we have now the, the loop. So let's try. We have, have the outer loop. The i is equal to 0. And then is i uh, less than numbers that length. So what's the uh, length of our um, numbers? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So meaning 5. So, so meaning 5 times. We need to um, iterate 5 times. Then we have an inner loop. We have a j. So j is equal to 0 also. And then j, j or that length, so 5 minus um, 0, okay, uh, 5 minus 0 is 5, minus 1 is 4, okay, so this one is 4, okay, and, the, and then the outer loop is 5, so take note of that. We have the, just to have a so outer loop, okay, so 5 times, and then inner loop, we have numbers that length so we have um four okay that's it so far it's for us to have that um okay and then if numbers index zero if numbers index zero okay this is four is is it greater than numbers index j plus one okay zero plus one zero plus one is one so meaning is four is number sub zero greater than uh, the values of numbers uh, numbers index 1 okay true if it is true we have another um, assignment statement here okay temp temp is equal to numbers uh, index 0 so numbers index 0 what is the value okay it's 4 so this is the value of um, temp and then numbers index um, numbers index of j okay which is zero okay is equal to numbers j number index j plus one okay so meaning the the value of numbers of z, index zero now is the value of numbers uh index one which is two so this will become now two okay so take note uh every time uh, from our previous from the our previous ep episode about passing arrays to methods um every time that 
we modify the values of an array um, elements inside of the uh, method okay when we return it later so the um, the values of the uh, uh, that array is uh, uh, also uh, we can also that can be also um, changed okay because uh, we are passing the reference so whatever modifications we have here that we are actually modifying the uh, um, array inside of the main method which is the numbers method okay that's what i'm trying to say okay so let's continue so the numbers j plus one this time zero plus one is one so we're talking referring to numbers one is equal to temp so the value of temp is four so this now the value of uh, numbers index one now is four okay so that's it and then uh, since we are inside of the uh, inner loop j plus plus j now will become one okay and then we test is j take note the numbers that length um minus i uh, minus one so we, the we, the limit here uh, the value of this one is four so is one less than four okay it's true so we will proceed again to the um, if statements if numbers sub one or numbers index one okay but because that's the current value now of our j okay is it greater so we're referring to here which is four is it is this one greater to j plus one so one plus one is two so meaning numbers index two is a four greater than the value of numbers index two true or false false okay so if it is false we will not proceed or we will not execute the statements inside of our if statements what we're going to do is we will just what increment the value of j in our inner for loop so j now will become two okay is a two less than a four uh true so again we will continue to uh, execute the if statements this time around we are uh, referring to numbers index 2. Numbers index 2 is 6. Is 6 greater than numbers j plus 1, which is 2 plus 1 is 3. Okay, is 6 greater than 3? Okay, so uh, false. So meaning to say, we will not um, execute this uh, statement. All we need to do is just to increment the value of j. Okay, so this will will become now three is three less than four okay uh, false i mean uh true so if numbers j so we're referring now to numbers uh index three which is eight is it greater than numbers j plus one three plus one is four so we're referring to numbers index four is eight greater than three is the value of that index numbers okay yes true so that's the only time again we uh, will proceed to execute the statements inside of our if statements here so we have a temp again so the value of temp now is the value of numbers of j the value of j is 3 so we're referring to in uh, numbers index 3 okay which is 8 so the value of temp is 8 okay and then numbers j numbers uh, 3 is equal to the value of numbers j plus 1, which is numbers uh, index 4, which is 3. So we will now modify this. This will become now 3. Um, yes, this will become 3. And then numbers j plus 1, 3 plus 1 is 4. Okay, the value of this one now is the value of temp, which is 8. Okay, so that's it, 8. And then, um, j plus plus so j now is a four okay is four less than four false so we will now um, exit to the um, inner for loop we will go up to the um, outer loop and increment the value of i i now will become uh, one okay is one less than five okay take note the uh, numbers that length here is uh, five uh true so we will proceed again to the inner loop and we will start again j is equal to a zero uh yes yeah, zero is zero less than uh, numbers that length 
minus i. So the numbers that length we have, 5 minus 1 is 4 minus 1 is 3. Okay, so the inner loop now is 3. Okay, so is 0 less than 3? True. Okay, so we'll proceed to execute this uh, if statement. Is number sub j, which is 0, okay, greater than uh, numbers j plus 1? Numbers j plus 1. So, uh, 0 plus 1 is 1. Is it greater than? No. So, j plus plus so will, this will become 1. Okay, next iteration. Um, since, uh, yes, j plus 1, 1. So, again, compare. Is 1 less than 3? True. Okay. Is number sub 1, which is uh, which has a value of 4, greater than uh, numbers j plus 1, which is 2? Is this one greater? False. So, we will not execute the statement inside the bower if, again, j plus plus, this will become 2. And we will now, again, compare. Is 2 less than uh, 3? Okay. Um, true, so number sub um, 2, which is 6, is 6 greater than numbers index j plus 1, 2 plus 1 is 3, is 6 greater than 3? True. Okay, so what are we going to do? Uh, assign now the number sub j, which is 2, which is 6, to uh, temp. Okay, that's it. And then numbers sub 2 is equal to numbers j plus 1, which is 3. So this will become now 3. And then we will assign them to j plus 1. So we'll, this one will become now 6. Okay? And then j plus plus, so j now will become um, 3. Is 3 less than a th uh, 3? False. So i plus plus, we'll have uh, 2. Is 2 less than 5? True. Okay, we will start again. j is equal to 0 is 0 less than, okay, numbers that length minus i. So we have 5 minus i, which is now 2. 5 minus 2 is 3. Minus 1 is 2, okay. So the inner loop uh, is 2. Okay, now, is a number sub j, which is 0, okay, uh, this one, 2. Is it greater than? No. So, j++, plus plus, so this will become now 1. Okay. Is 1 less than 2? True. Okay. Execute. Is number sub 1 greater than, okay, is this 4 greater than j plus 1, which is uh, numbers 2? True. Okay. So, what are we going to do? We will assign uh, the uh, 4 to temp. Okay. So, we have now 4. And then, a number sub j is equal to number sub 1. Now, we're talk referring to number sub 1 is equal to uh, number sub j plus 1. This one. So, 3. Okay. So, this will become now 3. And then, we will assign a temp to numbers j plus 1, which is 2. Okay. So, we will assign 4 here. Okay. And then, j plus plus. So, this will become now 2. Is 2 less than 2. Okay. Is the, the current value of our inner loop now is 2. The limit here is 2. So, this one is false. So, we will go up to increment the value of i now to 3. Okay. Is 3 less than 5 true? So, we will start again from uh, j equals 0. This time around, numbers that length 5. 5 minus uh, 3 is uh, the 2. Minus 1 is 1. Okay. So, the inner loop now we will iterate uh, one time, okay, once. So, let's try. Is 0 less than 1? True. So, is number sub 0 greater than numbers uh, index uh, 1? False. It's false. We will just increment the value of j to 1. And then, uh, we will compare. Is 1 less than 1? False. So, we will increment the value of i which is now a 4, okay? Is 4 less than 5? True. So we will um, execute the inner loop again. We will start from 0, okay? And then we will test. Is, is 0 numbers, numbers that length, which is uh, 5, minus 4 is 1, minus 1 is 0. So the inner loop is 0. 
is zero less than zero. Okay, false. So what are we going to do? So uh, we will go out of this and then go up to the outer loop. I plus plus, this will become now five. Is a five great, uh, less than uh, five? False. So out. So meaning, uh, we will uh, stop now the uh, the loop. We will we already finish uh, tracing the loop. So the final return numbers, meaning return the the values of an array, the reference of an array. So the calling method in here. So the value of numbers now. Okay, once uh, the one is uh, being returned. Okay, so numbers now has the value two, three, four, six, eight. Initially, we have four, two, six, eight, three. Okay, and then we have a uh, for loop inside of our main. Okay, just to print out all the values of array elements starting from numbers index uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, using print. So meaning the final output, okay, is so we have now uh, 2, and then 3, and then 4, and then 6, and 8. Okay, so let's try if our answer is correct. Okay, let's try to run this one. And there you go. 2, 3, 4, 6, 8. Okay, is our answer correct? 2, 3, 4, 6, 8. Okay, there you go. You are correct. So this um, example, this uh, program, um, only um, teaches us on how to pass an array, uh, entire arrays to uh, methods, and then how to return also the array. Okay, and that's all for to today. Pass. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And as always, show your love through comments and favorites. God bless and thank you for watching.